Finally, Queso has come back with another reaction. And today, 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 I'm reacting to Vonda Skull, If I Die. Now, y'all, I probably got, excuse me, no kizzy, 200 comments saying, yo, y'all liked, you liked the, the, um, record with master nay I, I can't even think of something this time i think this time you gonna love this i'm brand new it's my second reaction to dude you know i'm a man of the people not above but equal so if you want it i got it but before i break it down break it down hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel hey how are you doing hit that subscribe button because if you don't subscribe your granny is a dirty stinking little bitch. we popping off Mm. Yeah. That's super real. You know, you. I love when a person get on that song when he doing one of them like truly for my fans. He said, "Shout out to the friends, my families, my homies, everybody for letting you let me show my abilities." That's real. That's real. Like that's one of the humblest ways to to say what you try to say, and I respect it. I like dude because Vanda gave me that feeling of like a humble dude. He know he popping, you know what I'm saying? And he knows he's the shit, but his confidence is warranted. He deserves the confidence he has. It's not like some, like, you know what I'm saying, nobody who just feel like he that shit. But he also comes off as humble, and he also comes off as a dude who really loves his people. Look at how much camera time all of his homies had in the last video. You damn near would have been, if it wasn't for his single shots, you would have thought that one of them was the rappers, you know what I'm saying? What's the Bay? Is he talking about the Bay Area? Thank those that's hating on me. And those who broke my heart, I appreciate it. When you hop on the Bay, if you grew up and you was early preteens to teens during 2006, Seven to thirteen. So we talking about that little Wayne era. When that lighter came on, when that lighter came on before the song cut, and you heard <laughs> that nigga would be smoking out that blunt. When you heard that, you knew he was about to snap. So I gotta get Vanda. You gotta go crazy. You done built it up. Mm. Mm. That's what I'm saying. You know, when humble dudes, Kiso ain't the most humble person. I ain't never been. You know what I'm saying? I walk around like with a chip on my shoulder, top busting face, top busting clip in your face, pussy. This beef ain't over. But after I thank you, I gotta thank me. That's what I was saying. It's. There's two things about of people who are humble. So you have those like, let's, let's use women, for example. You have those girls who are beautiful and know they're beautiful. And when you compliment them, they be like, oh, thank you. But then you have those girls that are beautiful, but don't know they're beautiful or don't want you to know they know they're beautiful. So you tell them they're beautiful and they be like, no, I'm not. It's two different kinds of pockets, but it's both it's both in the same world, you know what I'm saying? I really respect him for being able to do that. And I wanted to give that analogy about the shorties. Let's go. Oof. And I always say when you are bilingual and you are able to switch into English while you are flowing and keep your flow going, you get extra points with Queso. Queso is a fan of hip hop. Is day one fan of hip hop. I'm such a fan of hip hop that I love to do international reactions because I see how in hip hop, a a a, a genre that started in the Bronx, has traveled through the entire world and influenced people like Vanda in the same way that it influenced me with with different and like growing up and experiences in life, but it still touched you. When you get to that, I'm going to go to English right quick. When I'm going to snap into English, I'm going to go back to my, tell me what the name of the, the, the language is. Oh, apologies to, he's not Filipino. I, I, my bad, the flag messed me up. 
co co not Colombian, um, has an H in it. Blown, man, I'm a, I'm a mess up. Hey, don't be mad at me. Just tell me where y'all from, where you from. Mm. He talking about his hood. Vibe King, you know what I'm saying? Can't show the Big Dipper, the Vibe King. But King, I don't know why I said it like that, but the King is here. But anyways, I love what he was saying, the bars. And shout out to subtitles, you know what I'm saying? Thanks, for, thanks to his one homie for giving me a place to stay. Thanks for my, and now I think about it, even rhymes in English. Thanks for, thanks to my other homie, even though he travels in a different, well, a different way. Thought, he, I love this. He's thanking everybody who's been here through him. And like with artistry, with a rapper, when I can see your whole history and you can tell me homies, that's the thing about rap. I don't have to know the people you're rapping about. I don't need to know the hood you rap or, or where you from. I don't have to know. I don't ever have to have seen them or experience it. If you're able to describe it to me, oh, everybody got a homie like that. When you was down and out, when you was out bad, your homie let you crash on the uh, crash on the couch. When you was, you know what I'm saying, your homies that used to be wild with you, used to be wild with you, but now they ain't so crazy no more. They got regular nine to five jobs, and you still in the field with it. Shout out to my dead homies, the ones that have passed away. Everybody can relate to that. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's that was what the immediate connection for me and him was when I heard his music. The Dipper liked it because Queso heard that and. And not this song, but the, the song I reacted to before. My memory's trash, but the song I reacted to before. And I heard it and I said, he gets it. He gets hip hop. He gets the vibe. He gets the energy. He's an entertaining guy. He has a lot to show. He's a talented artist, clearly. He knows how to ride pockets. He knows how to use flows. He knows how to switch languages mid-verse. Mid so th those are where the connections I made. And it's like, when I hear a song like this, where now I'm getting a little bit of your backstory, come on, man. Mm. Oh, and he can sing. This shit beautiful, cuz. So he's one of those multifaceted artists who can do it all. Man, this nigga got it, man. Love how he stretched that. Get in your bag, nigga. It's a crazy lyric video. song diamonds on me dances and thought I what would he say with the diamonds at the lamp oh hold on hold on hold on nah bro this nigga this nigga goaded bro this nigga goaded bro you don't gave me two different songs in one you're goaded yo no more plotted, nigga. I'm Sada. You want to smoke? Oof. 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 Oof.
He knows how to hop into that bag. Man, I die, bury me up on the stage. Bro, this shit come on in concert. It come on in the club. Niggas about to be in there. Boom, fool. I'm just about to jump, jump around because you know what I'm saying? Oh. This nigga a goat, bro. See, bro, it started off the song, and I'm like, okay, this is one of them spiritual records. One of them that just touch your soul, make you wanna, ooh, come here, mama, I love you. Then it came on you, mama, move out the way, I'm about to come in church. We popping bottles in the club. Instead of copping the Ram Lambo, he gonna go cop some real estate instead. Flex on him, King. Flex, and he got bars, and he got bars too stupid. Like Vonda don't be coming with like and he got bars too dummy. My lips <laughs> And look how he switched the flows up. It went from dun 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 he took a shit, so he spent two hundred k. That's a real expensive toilet paper. Listen, you can talk to me, bitch. If I die, please put me on the stage. And the way he it way and I, that's that's fire, smoking fly to the sky. But the way his ad lips on the stage, like he knows that right now we in a vibe. So when I die, bury me up on the stage. And that second on the stage worked perfect in concert because we could, as the fans could, on the stage, you know what I'm saying, turn. He said passing his girl like a poet. Passing her, put that in rotation like a like a poet. This nigga, I feel like if I grew up Cambodia. No, bro, I can't remember the country. I just had it. Y'all told me in the comments one last time and I'll remember. But I feel like if I grew up where he grew up, I would be a lot like him. I feel like he would be one of my homies. You know what I'm saying? He got that young nigga. I'm fun. Don't play with me too much, but I'm here for a good time, not a long time type of vibe. That's like, he come off like a rock star. And I hate using this word when describing rappers. I really do. I do hate using the word rock star because it almost is like a discredit to rap. Why can't we be rappers? But y'all or rap stars, you know, there's pop stars, there's K-pop stars, there's P-pop stars, there's, there's, so why can't we be rap stars? And, but if I said rap star, you wouldn't have quite got my image. What I say, rock star, I mean that fun, that carefree, that when they come, it's just a energy beams into this room and you know where they at. Could be the quietest dude in the room, but you know he in there. You know he in there. Facto.
That's a dope rhyme scheme too. Back with the flow. Back with the Draco. Back with the uh, back with the, uh, the back in here. Ooh. You might be the king of the flow, man. Run it up. Mm. Moment of silence. Shh. Moment of silence. Cause he just killed this motherfucker. No cap. Now, okay, so you know what it is. That was a vibe. Now here comes another reaction by me right here. Ping, ping, or Queso's music video right here. Ping, ping. Click on it, show me some love. My new album, Queso Big Dipper, out now on all streaming platforms. Go check it out. I'm gonna pin it in my first comment. Love y'all. I'm out. Vanda is.